I had some from the math. Easy solution. Here discuss a quick example on the quotient rule uh, for derivatives. And basically, like I, I proved this a while ago, but I didn't really do uh, examples on it. So I'm going to do some examples in uh, this video and in later videos for the ones to help clarify it a bit more. So if you want to see the more on this on the proof vid, just well, make sure to watch the quotient rule proof in the video link below. Basically, I just want to quickly recap on it. Basically, if f and g are uh, both differentiable, meaning the derivative exists for these functions in whatever interval you're looking at, then if you have y equals fx divided by g of x, then the derivative y primes can be, well, dy over dx equals to the derivative of fx times g of x minus fx times the derivative of g of x all divided by g of x squared or you can write it down in, uh, just a bit neater like this, y prime equals f prime times g minus f times g prime all divided by g squared. So the example I wanna go over is this this one right here. It's a quick example uh, on a quotient rule, but uh, it's basically x squared plus x minus two all divided by x cubed plus six. And uh, this example, like all examples, uh, when before using quotient rule, because this is a pretty, uh, pretty intense, uh, it's, it gets pretty complex for you, a lot of algebra, et cetera, et cetera. So make sure the function's already as simplified as you as possible before applying it, just to make it easier for you. And this one here, it's pretty, uh, yeah, you can't really make it any simpler than it already is, so we can just apply the quotient rule. So we just go y prime equals, well, the top's gonna be our fx, so that's the top, and this is the bottom right here, it's gonna be our g of x, because that just looks like this over here. So we take first as this, uh, the rule states it's the derivative of the top, and that's gonna be, well, x squared, the derivative of that is just, well, two x, and then plus, this is, the derivative of x is just one, the derivative of negative two is a constant, so just zero. And then we multiply, so that's the derivative of the top, then we just multiply by the bottom, x cubed plus six. And then we subtract now, well, we just write the top, x squared plus x minus two, and then now we multiply by the derivative of the bottom, which is, well, x cubed. The derivative of that is just gonna be three x squared. And the derivative of six is zero, is just a constant, so we just cancel that up. And this is all divided by, well, the bottom squared. So x cubed pl plus six, all squared right here. And now, basically, we can expand the top Make it a bit simpler by expanding first, and we'll have uh, addition and subtraction, etc. So we multiply this, just foil it out. Like we multiply this by this and this, we're gonna get 2x to the 4, and then this 2x times 6, that's gonna be, well, that's gonna be 12x. Now we do the same thing with the 1, so 1 times x cubed is just x cubed, and then 1 times 6 is just 6 plus 6. So we just multiply this, now we do look at this side right here. So we've done this side, expand this one here, multiply the three x squared inside this, uh, this bracket right here. So we get th minus three x squared times x squared, that's just three x to the four. And then, oh, this is gonna be a minus, there's a minus there. So we go minus uh, x times three x uh, squared, that's gonna be, well, minus three x cubed. And then now we have this negative two times three x squared is gonna be negative six x squared, but then we have a negative in here, so it multiplies it out. So it'll be a positive six x squared. And once again, all divided by uh, the x cubed plus six. Yeah, plus six uh, squared right here. So we have this right now. Now we could just uh, cancel out the like terms or, or add them up, etc. So we have this two x four and this negative three x, so we can uh, add those up, so it's gonna be negative x to the four. So we look at the 12 x, there's nothing else, so we can just put that, we'll just look at the higher higher functions for higher powers first. So this x cubed, there's a negative three x cubed right here, this is gonna be negative two x cubed. Look at the x squared, this is the only one, so we just write that down, plus six x squared, and look at the, well now we have this plus uh, 12 x, and then we just plus this one, plus this six. There's nothing else, uh, the same power as it. Yeah, and then basically all divided by x cubed plus six, all squared. So this is the final answer of about, uh, box it out like this to show it. But anyways, that's all for today. If you learn from this quick example on using the quotient rule, hopefully it simplifies things a bit up. And remember, uh, you can always download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.